Hello everybody. Today we are going to be studying how to diagram compound subjects and verbs. Last time we studied how to diagram simple subjects and simple verbs. And today we are going to start with compound subjects. When we are talking about compound subjects, it means that we have more than one person, animal or thing, uh, doing the action, or we are talking about more than one person, animal or thing. These uh, people or animals, these subjects, are going to be joined or linked by these connectors, and, or, or, nor. So let's see the first example and let's try and let's diagram it. I, Elias and Obed are studying English grammar. We have here the subject or the compound subject. Two guys doing one thing. Okay, how is going to be the diagramming for this? Since we have a compound subject, two people, two guys, we're going to need two lines. The first line is going to be for the first, the first one mentioned in the sentence. Elias or Elias, Elias. The one down, the second one, Obed. The connector is going to be placed here. Okay. And pay attention to this line, this dotted line. This dotted line means that Obed is joined or linked to Elias. So Elias and Obed. Now pay attention to that connector. The connectors in the subject's side are going down and or nor they are going down so then we go back to the baseline we split it because we're going to start the verb and it is our study now the second sentence says Antonio or Mauricio will get the highest score we're talking about two guys Antonio or Mauricio so they have the probability to get the highest score so dotted line don't forget it we go back to the baseline we divide it we place the verb then what is it going to happen if we have more than two subjects what is going to add lines we have here this example days months and years soon expire so we have three since we have three we're going to have three lines days months and years remember to keep the capital letters remember to keep the capital letters okay and do you remember what do we use the axis here for we use the axis to just just to cover a place of a word that has been omitted or to cover the place of um, an understood subject an understood word so we have here days and months we could place an end there but it is going to sound weird saying days and months and years soon expire so we say just days X months down and then N years. So this is going to be the compound subject for this days, months, years. The X between days and months and N between months and years. Then expire. The second, uh, the next, next example, California and Florida have then oxygen and carbon are so 
what we have to do first is identifying the subjects and the verbs now let's see the verbs here we have come for the verbs when we have one subject doing two actions the first sentence says George eats and watches to be at 6 p.m. okay in the case of the compound verbs it is just the same that compound subjects we use these linked linking words these connectors and or or nor and now we have a simple subject George the division did we start the verb but since we have two verbs we split this and we convert it into two lines George eats and watches okay pay attention to this the connector now is going up previously it was going down in the subject but now in the verb side on the verb side it is going up now the tired soldier sat by the fire and warmed himself now we have King Asa destroyed the idol and born then we have watched and have worked so we have placed that X because the auxiliar has been omitted for the second verb it is not necessary in grammar but we could say we have watched and we have worked but we are not going to to be making things harder just this way then the use use is the subject and we have three verbs had ignored made and we have served okay we have here an X between had ignored and made because we don't have a connector between the first and the second verb we have a connector between the second and the third that's why we have between the second and the third verb we have the and here but here we don't have the auxiliary had because we could say the Jews had ignored God's commands they had made molten images and they had served Baal that's why we place the X because of the auxiliary has been omitted okay now what if we have compound verbs and compound subjects it's going to be like mixing compound subjects and verbs so we're going to do this identifying the subject and then identifying the verb we have Joseph and I are eating and drinking coke since we don't say Joseph and I are eating tacos and are drinking coke we place this X here because of the auxiliary that has been omitted for the second verb then Ananias and Sephira sold and kept we have two subjects a man and a woman two verbs then Jonathan and David two men and then two verbs were and remained okay just remember when we have compound subjects we're going to need lines for every subject the dotted line has to be here and it refers or it means that every subject is related to the other one above then the connector 
is going down on the subject side and it is going up on the verb side also we're going to place an x if the second or third verb doesn't have the ciliar and that's all so this is the end remember to work in your book exercises and see you next time bye bye god bless you